Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin and we're doing a jewelry unboxing today. I went ahead and cut the label that had my address on it. Um, and I want to go ahead and show you that this is 12 pounds. I'm unsure if they're going to have the packing slip in here. I paid up for this lot because the things that I saw uh, in the pictures that they had listed uh, really, I don't know, they made me feel like I was confident in my purchase. So here we go. I always like opening it on camera. And this is supposed to be 12 pounds of natural stone. So there we go. And my table was a little busy today, so I opted to do this in my living room on the floor. So, first things first here, uh, this feels like, I don't know, because this looks like it has a druzy on it, and it feels like it could be a real druzy, and these are cold, and they're heavy, I don't know, they could be glass, this looks like a stone, this is glass with a coating on it, maybe, or maybe they're agates. This is interesting. It is broken, however. Um, it like came undone, but I mean, definitely is an easy fix. Wouldn't that be something if it was legit? Okay, so that came right out of the bag immediately. And so I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna go for it. I don't, this is kind of frightening. I wonder if I'm gonna open up like a curse or something. Oh. So this is like, um, I don't know what this is. That's my husband, he comes back into the room. Okay, so we have what appears to be an alpaca it's your Mexico stamp with your alpaca stamp right above it. This is a really nice one. It's a good size. Purple with mother of pearl inlay. I see something with some oriental writing on it. And that's broken too. Do you know what this is? It unscrews on top. So you can hold your pills, your magic, and oh. whatever, so it's waterproof. Oh, hey, I love that. Waterproof Well, um, this has a really cool, and it looks like it's bone. Um, I may restring this, look, because it's even, it's an elephant. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it's a Buddha. Okay, I'm going to try not to pull. Okay, yeah, here's the other side and here's this side. So I'm not certain, but I'm going to go ahead and stick all the rest of these um, to the side here that may be a part of this necklace. Because, oh my god, look at this. I've sat it down and I saw a whole nother... Um, okay, so it's fish. So all these little things are bone. Look at that. That's a bear. Look at this. It's a skull. I don't know why I didn't see that until I put it down. Um, but this is next level. I'm really bummed that it's uh, broken. But like I mentioned, it's my husband trying to get the kids' toys out of there. So this one's a like little owl or something, and then this one's just like a bone of sorts. Hopefully we don't get too many more casualties in here. But there's 
stress it out. So this right here is faceted. I don't know if this is natural stone or if this is glass, um, but the clasp looks like it may be silver, judging by the tarnish on it. I don't see any mark as of right now, but as a double layer, so I'll test that one. It's an earring stuck to this necklace. like there's a stone with a little brass hang down and this is like all macrame material it's in really good condition for what it is and then it's like adjustable there so that's crazy um, had the little um, chunk of howl put that off to the side here it looks like it matches this necklace is China RS and then it's 925 so I'm gonna go ahead and test this because these look like I don't know maybe I believe they're dyed halite I can't never seen turquoise chunks this big but first time period I suppose I'm gonna go ahead and stick this bead with hmm, looks like a bunch of beads down here oh my Look at this. A little Asian dude. All right. It's probably a heck of a long one too. These are, it's like a choker style and this is like on like a velvet cord, something. But normally how I tell if pearls are real or not is I take them and I rub them together. And if they feel like grittiness, then chances are they're real pearls. Um, they also have some really fine banding on there. You just have to be careful because a lot of time when they uh, imitate pearls, um, they create that, that banding. So here's another bead. Um, this is just a strand of Jasper. Can tell by the color of this that these are like a jasper and it's it's literally just a string i definitely have stuff put that to good use so that's nice this is it looks like first glance like coral and why I think that it is coral um, is because vintage coral tends to lose its um, shine. Um, it could definitely be added back with a little bit of oil, um, but I'm thinking by the pitting and the marks on these that this is coral. And um, coral resells really well for me. Um, tends to be one of those things. I always tend to check the clasp to see if I see any indications of a maker's mark or anything. But it looks like it's, it's got like a flower. This is a beautiful necklace. It's got the extender. It's definitely something I'm going to test. Got this beautiful one right here. Um, this is stamped 925. Now, this wasn't a, um, this was just a 12 pound lot of natural stones. It didn't say anything if it was um, sterling or not. Um, but like I mentioned, I paid up for this lot because of the things, the pictures that I saw. Um, and so far I am not disappointed. Um, it looks like some strawberry quartz and then it looks like we have some, some very interesting stone. Um, you know, I'm not 100% certain and these may be labradorite. These stones in between here because they have kind of like a I don't know I have that look to it like it has a little bit of blue flash to it um I don't know okay not gonna fiddle on that for too long okay so this right here is 
it's like a resin. Um, what I mean by it's a resin is this here is resin. I'm not certain about this one. It is glued on there and shaped. I'm not sure. Ooh. So we have some peacock ore that is adhered onto a copper bangle. Really beautiful. Wow, look at that. So it looks like this is a brass bangle with like some either faux pearl or genuine pearl on there. I'd have to look at these through a loop or rub another pearl on top of it to see if these are genuine or not. But this is very boho, very fun. Look at this. Um, it must be a cap to like a trinket box or something because there's no holes. But this is a natural stone on top. Put that off to the side. This is the other dyed halite chunk. You can tell that these are dyed halite just because of the pigmentation. Um, they're really uneven. And you can see some of the spots that like aren't as saturated. This is sunstone, I believe. Judging by the way it looks. Or it could be a carnelian. Oh, look at that. Um, this is, I think, some sort of natural stone. And then hematite here it's non-magnetic it's not sticking to itself you can see there's no pull so this is genuine ma um, hematite the difference between hematite and magnetite is um, magnetite is magnetic number one and number two is man-made it's not found naturally occurring um, and hematite is found naturally occurring and it is it is sort of magnetic but it doesn't have that magnetic pull that magnetite would have um, so we found another earring that looks purple-ish. Put that off to the side. Wow. Okay, so I always look and see if I can find any blue in the natural stones that are blue. Or I look to see if I see any gold flecks. Um, this is stamped 925 in here. Of course, I'm going to test it. Um, when I'm looking at a blue stone to distinguish whether or not something is pyrite or sodalite, I look for gold flecks. Um, if there is gold flecks inside the blue stone, chances are it is lapis lazuli. But if you're not finding any gold flecks, which I am not seeing any, this is just sodalite. This is a, um, it's like a watch band. It's in really nice condition. Um, I gotta make sure that I, I've broken nail a few times trying to open these holdover class. Cause she's a weenie. Um, so it doesn't have, it's in really great condition. It doesn't appear to have any kind of maker stamp on it, but those are some tiger's eye. Nice. Oh, this is really pretty. Um, try to get the clasped undone here. So yeah, this looks like doesn't say anything on the lobster. You always want to check in this little hook here. Um, and I'm just gonna 
rub these together and it doesn't feel like these are pearls. However, they have have some, I don't know, maybe these are these are real. Um, it doesn't have any marks, but I'll go ahead and test it. It's cool. So this right here is like a titanium druzy. Look how beautiful that is. Um, man, you know, judging by the way this, this kind of looks, it may be silver, it may not be, I don't know. It does have a hook here. That's really nice. It doesn't have any markings or anything that I see at first glance, but you can kind of see the tarnish look. So this could either be silver plated or possibly silver. Who knows? This is a necklace. So it's two dollars. Okay, so um, really pretty clasp. Look at that, it's like a mandala clasp. Um, and then you have the matching earrings with the bead caps. Cool, tiger's eye. Matching bead caps, so it's like a whole set. Cool, cool, cool. Back a bit. This looks like it could also be. Oops, sorry, um, that it could also be um, soda light as well. The clasp does say nine two five on it. I'm not seeing any gold flecks in it. It's just the blue and white, and this is a graduated necklace. Uh, really nice, heavy. Oh, these are like um, lava, lava stones with a uh, druzy. Uh, really pretty. Um, I've seen this brand before. I'm going to have to look it up because I'm not too familiar with it. It's got a lot of really nice stretch to it. So we have this guy right here, which is stuck on something else. Looks like it says something in there. I'm not 100% what it says. Maybe it says stir. Uh, it is, it is a stone and the screw back does function properly. Let me see if I can look at this. Yeah, I think it says sterling on it. But I'll clean this up and give it a better look. Put this to the side. See if I can't find the match. This guy's been taunting me. Look at how beautiful the shape of the stone is. Um, this looks like a dendritic agate, if I had to guess. Um, it just looks like it has some, some filament, some earth kind of like growth. That's how I always think of dendritic agate. So, I like it. Okay, um, and then there is the clasp here. It has a little bit of a gold tone to it. Not seeing any hang tag or any indication of maker, but it's beautiful. This one, oh my gosh, um, is more believable to be turquoise to me. Look at this cross. Oh my lord. Um, Everything says, holy smokes. 
Okay, so uh, this is a rosary that I think is made from turquoise. Um, and it has, it's stamped sterling on the middle part here. And then it's stamped sterling on the back of this cross. Holy moly. And look at the beautiful turquoise. This is, this is a find. Wow, that was next level stuff right there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over that. Look at these big balls. These are huge. My God. Um, so it has like a little tag on it. It had to be a toggle. There's no other way. These are ginormous. Look at my fingernail and look at these balls. Look at this. This is heavy. This has got to weigh a pound. That's no joke. And I'm going to go ahead and test the silver on this. Um, these have to be like 18 millimeter. Uh, maybe even 20. That's that's ginormous. Um, this is beautiful. Uh, this looks like it may be in and around the same. Look at this clasp. My God, that's beautiful. Um, wow. These look like, so I'm just going to have to fix this because when I was getting those big balls out, um, some of the dangle came off. Um, so... They have little dangles on them here, that cube, really sparkly, and then it's got, wow, it's just a lot going on here. It's very romantic. Um, I love the color combo, and then you can see the, like, the druzy. That's, that's next level right there. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, uh, this one. Another, wow. Uh, it's just tied, but man, the artistry that went into that. And these are like little springs. I, I'm pretty certain that these are coral down here. Um, and as far as this goes, I'm not certain if that is glass, um, but wow. Um, it's, got, it's got some tarnish back here. Mm, another one I'm going to test. Um, this one, really lovely, smoky, uh, purple color. Um, this does say 925 on it, just there. Um, but again, I'm going to test it. This is gorgeous. Wow. Stuff that's tangled. I'm just trying to go for the stuff that's easy. This may have to be a two-parter video, but um, this, of course, is some rose quartz. It is cut in the shape of a flower, and then looks like it's some pearls. Um, the lobster claw clasp doesn't state if it is sterling or not. We give it a test because why not? But this is beautiful. Always admire rose quartz. It's quite lovely. And yes, if you're wondering, I'm still thinking about that rosary. Um, okay, so this right here is, gosh, blue tiger's eye maybe? Um, it's got a like a blue sheen to it. It's definitely not, you can see the the difference in color, it's very subtle. But this is a beautiful one, uh, it's a bolo. And it looks like, I'm not gonna smell it because chances are it's gonna smell like Goodwill, but it looks like the way it feels, it, it could be leather. Um, this is a beautiful one as well. This really deep, dark purple 
Uh, and then you've got like a lifeboat kind of clasp. That is beautiful. The way that sparkles, it's really stunning. Um, looks like we have some chrysocolla. That's what these green beads look like to me. Um, or man, this possibly could even be azurite. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but the pearls got a little... Maybe that's how they secured it in there. It's very interesting. And then I'm not certain if these are... No, these are not genuine pearls. And then there's your clasp here. So that, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm going to test it, but it's so so silver that I don't know it may just be an alloy or something but wow those beads are beautiful really stunning um got on a suede cord this honkin honkaroo of a mosaic donut of abalone and again that's suede and something else is attached to it That's big. Side of my hand. Donut. And then we have some more. Oh, it's like a little Millie Fiore on um, rose quartz. Looks like a wire sticking out here, but that it can easily be fixed. And the clasp has a little bit of tarnish on it as well. So I'll, I'll give that one a check. But these are cute little rounded rose quartz beads. This, 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 this is the piece that I saw in the picture and I confidently bitted this up because of this. Um, fun fact, my mother-in-law actually has one of these uh, in Amethyst. Um, she had to have the clasp repaired. Um, there's your Mexico silver. So it may be alpaca. It may be sterling. Um, I'm not 100% certain. This says just silver Mexico on it. But holy smokes. This is a teeny tiny one. But. Wow. This is. Yeah. So anything else is just a bonus. Um, so let's see. Let's see what else we got in here. This is. I don't know. Um, maybe supposed to be uh, like a um, collar. That's her. Got Ben in transit, possibly. This says invest in yourself. Okay. Um, and these. look like they could be a labradorite or or something invest in yourself keep keep collective cool got an earring it's an natural stone here and possibly in there I'm breaking my rule I always like to look in the back and see if it's it is signed. I'm not sure what the signature is. This is says turquoise and aqua druzy pendant necklace. This says Susan Shaw. It's definitely a stone. Susan Shaw. It's a toggle. 
Triple. Triple. Triple strand. Triple strand. Nice little baggy waggy on that one. Oh, look at this! It's a gold stone ring. How cool is this? How about a mug? Look at this donut. Oh, I thought you were like saying no or something. This one right here, oh, um, is, let's see, we're at 30 minutes. Probably show a few more things and then I may have to cut this to a two-parter. Um, this is a beautiful uh, ocean jasper or leopard jasper. This has like a coated, um, a coated leather and this is like a gold tone kind of clasp. But this is stunning. You could take this off of here and you could make it into a, a pendant of your, your choosing. It doesn't have to be just like that. Um, got this right here. It's like vintage. It's got a hook clasp and all of these are round. I'd guess probably eight millimeter. So really pretty on that one. And then the last thing that I'll go ahead and show, and then I've got the rest of this unbox, so you're gonna have to stay tuned for part two, um, is this guy right here, which is Mother of Pearl uh, in discs. And it has a, call these pinch hook clasps. Um, and you always wanna look and see if there's anything stamped in here. I've got a few, I had a few uh, 14 karat gold ones, I sold them. Um, but this is nice. This would be like a choker style, probably like 15, 16 inches. So, all right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and close this out here, man. Um, found a lot of really good ones. Can't complain about this at all. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button if you liked this video and wouldn't mind seeing more content like this. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite in this lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.